Hello everybody, it's Leanne with my weekly live video class. So it basically is a free class that you can attend and um, learn some things today. Oh, I'm excited about these fun fold cards. Uh, one, I bet, I'm, I'm guessing 90% of you have not seen. Something I saw on Pinterest and I thought, oh, this is cool. I have to do it, I have to share it. So I'm hoping you stay with me through that one. Um, Get my laptop synced up here. Let me know you're here. I'd like to see if you're when you're who's on and where you're from. So yeah, please join me. And okay, it looks like I've got my laptop synced up. Awesome, you already shared, Katie. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Okay, um, <coughs> excuse me. Before we get started, let's do door prizes. So last week, the prize for sharing was this rose gold and rose gold um, specialty paper and a package of gems. So the essential or enamel dot essentials. So the winners, <coughs> excuse me, I have a <coughs> still have a little bit of the cough left from my whatever I had a few weeks ago, some kind of virus. So Della, let's see. Lori won the essential dots and Della won the designer paper. So congratulations. I think I have the addresses for both those gals. So congratulations. I appreciate it. So if you enjoy my videos, I'd love you to help me get the word out on them. So if you can share them on your personal Facebook uh, page or maybe in a group, a stamping group that you're in, I would appreciate that. So congratulations, Della and Lori. You'll receive those uh, soon, probably by the end of the week. Now, the prizes for this week is a set of resin star embellishments and a pack of cards. Now, this is cards from a kit that I recently did. Quite a few are fun fold. So this is our Happiness of Bounds designer paper. And this is a sample of some of my card kits that I do um, when I do my card kits to go. So here's another one. This one's really fun where you kind of cut off the card base and then you add a piece of designer paper on the bottom of it so you get to enjoy both sides. I like that one. I just added a little simple uh, border die on that and then here uses the some of the flowers in the, in the bundle and the teacup that retired just recently. So share to be in the prize drawing for these cards. And be sure you have your settings set so they actually do, do get shared. I know I've seen some people say they share and um, now and then I check and they don't show up on their page. So um, you have to actually have your Facebook settings uh, shareable. So, all right, so that's the door prizes. So let me know um, yeah, if you shared and if you comment, I appreciate that. So a couple updates, the couple things that are just back the radiating stitches dies are now back in stock. They've been unavailable for over a month. And these 3D embossing folders. So these are now back and available. So they've been out for a while. And the other thing that's exciting is the, let's see, this is Hello Irresistible 6x6 six six designer paper. It's so pretty. And this is back and available. This is an online, all of these are online only items. So you have to go to the online store and go into menu and then there's an online exclusives tab and you can see all of the online products. So those, like I said, those are back and available. They, they say on the online products, they will um, see, sometimes reorder them when they run out and sometimes they will not, we just don't know. So if you like these items, don't wait. You never know when they're going to stop selling them i guess so um so yeah I, my incentive for online orders this month is a set of new color bookmarks this is all of our new uh designer or you color family so lemon lolly lost lagoon bubble bath are in colors so this is a great way to sort and know your card stock so this is free with a 55 dollars order online and those are my host codes right now if you want to get those. Um, another couple items of news, the Exploring In Color Paper Pumpkin Kit is only available through, let's see, tomorrow. So if you want this kit, it looks like it is, 
They gave a little bit more of a sneak peek than this. It had wood rounds, it had pine cones, pine trees, and flowers. So it's nine cards, three each of three designs. You get a copper clay ink in color ink spot, and um, of course a, a stamp set. But the neat thing is Paper Pumpkin customers can get these add-on cards and envelopes, 18 on, or envelopes and 18 cards for just $10. That's only available to Paper Pumpkin subscribers. So, it, and it's while supplies last. So don't delay if you're interested in that. I always get those add-on cards because they're so um, inexpensive and a great way to um, choose create cards the easy way. I also want to mention, I still have a, some spots left. I just started a new round. Eight people needed for a paper share. You'll receive almost 80 pieces of six by six designer paper, all from the new catalog, um, the new design, uh, annual catalog. So that is $28.50 plus $5 shipping. I think it's 33 and it's on my shop. So you can get that. So as soon as they fill, I order them, then cut them and send them out. Okay, I think that's it for news. That took not only six minutes, not too bad. So let's get started on our fun and stamping. So we are going to use the Beautiful Balloons bundle. So I did do some die cuts here, showing you what are in the die cuts. I love this fun, um, um, what do you call this? Like fringe almost. And then here are the stamps and some coordinate like the balloon the balloon and the, and the um, tassel. And I think, of course, this is a really cool greeting die. I'll show you some of the projects um, that we're going to be doing using these. So, and we're also going to use the new bright and beautiful six by six designer paper. So this is six inches and it has many of the new, in fact, maybe all, I'm not sure, of the new core colors that are, um, brought back or new in the annual catalog. So it's a super fun, um, just a birthday celebration, cool backgrounds, some washes. Anyway, you'll see with the cards that we're gonna make. All right, so the first one, I almost did this one for um, one of my club cards, but I decided not to. It may be in next month, June's card kit to go. So here's the front. Now this is Berry Burst with Misty Moonlight and a little bit of Bubble Bath, okay? So it's a fun fold, it's a book binding fold. So you can see that it's attached, like a book is bound, but it's also an easel card. So isn't that cool? So this isn't the card that I think most of you haven't seen. That's gonna be the next project. But I, I wanted to share, it's it's scored in, in half at the score line. So I'm going to do that scoring in just a minute. And you have to have something in here to hold your easel. See how that works? So that's going to hold your easel. So those of you who might be watching that are coming to club this month, Card Club, we have a version of this using the monkeys. So I'm going to be sharing that later this month, um, maybe next week, maybe when I get back. I'm not sure. But it's a super fun and simple card to make. All right, so let's put the measurements here and get out my supplies. I have most of them um, ready except for this card base. So I did score it already at four and a quarter and five and a half. So that's done. Next, I'm going to grab my bone folder and reinforce those. Okay, now to get the diagonal fold, and that's where you want, and sometimes it's best to have a sample. So I always tell people that when you make a fun fold, sometimes cut another one and just put it with your directions so you know where to score. So I know this is the score line, these have to meet. So let me show you my trick. I am a score, um, simply scored girl. I love our simply scored. I rarely score with my paper trimmer. I just use, I mean, I put this up there and I put my little markers where they go. I have more markers and then I can just use the stylus and go to town. So, um, so, you know, don't, 
You can do this on a, on a regular paper trimmer, but I love the Simply Scored. So what I did was I had a fine tip orange marker a uh, Sharpie, I guess you call it. And I colored this at the four and a quarter mark, which is one of my most common folds. And I just ran that orange marker. It's very, very subtle, if you can see that. Um, so that I know is straight. So then I don't have to guess where does that line meet. So I'm putting my corner up there and then I'm gonna move my score line to this connecting line. Okay, so that's all we need to do. Very simple. Okay, so now on our card, this will go this way. Till you make one and have it in hand and kind of know how they fold, you you almost you have to just you have to almost have one, take a picture, a screenshot, something to help you out with that. Okay, so we're going to add our designer paper for the book binding. My measurements are here. I think I have them all down there for you. So I kept the front very simple for the most part. Just some layering. So this one, I don't know if you can see, I textured with the Merry Melody on the diagonal for this card. And on this one for the backing, I used the Cascading Ruffles. thought that was kind of a fun uh, fun texture. So when you're laying this on your card, you only add it to this side. And then you close your card, decide, now this is my right side, and look at your parameters. The points are on the fold. Okay, so basically it's only adhered to that. So this is our, I guess, extra layer. This is my inside. Here's the front. I'm changing up the colors. Oh, I got to get the card back in here. Changing up the colors just to layer the patterns a little bit. I'm going to use these fun uh, circles. They're kind of translucent. All right, so this gets it here, the whole piece. Yeah, it is a different card, isn't it? I hadn't seen... Um, I don't know where I got the idea from, likely Pinterest or Facebook or something. Okay, so there you can kind of see, and there's a start. And when I text, when I add a layer to texture, I always use my good, I call it my good glue, because <laughs> it sticks like nobody's business. So it really helps. When you use a tape runner, unless it's a very strong one, it can still lift up pretty easily on texture. So I think it's smart to use uh, the good glue on your texture pieces. Okay, we're gonna stamp on our, and this is that cool die cut that has kind of confetti-like around the edge. So I'm gonna do the same um, greeting as I did before in Misty Moonlight. And the images in this set are fairly, I guess I wanna say bold, and this barely fits on here. I have to be pretty precise to get all the words. It's like end to end. Okay, so that's good. And then I have, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna scoot that away for a little bit so I don't get in trouble. And I'm actually using in color. Uh, I think I'll use, yeah, I think I'll use this one. This is our in colors. They do, they'll, this is uh, <laughs> Parakeet, par par Parakeet Party, and this is Orchid. And it does match these fairly well. So I'm, I'm gonna just go with it and tie a double bow and just put my twine together and do my bunny ear method. So now I've got two ears and a face, right? So one ear goes in the face. And almost always it looks awful. I mean, it's like, oh boy, did I even tie a bow? So grab your knot, tighten, grab your knot and tighten. Now twine is some of the hardest to get to have a nice loop. So I tend to kind of wiggle it before I tighten all the way. And just kind of finagle those. All right. Okay, and that 
that's going to just, and I want it kind of like that on that angle. So we'll just add a couple dimensionals to the backing. And do the same kind of thing here. And now for, I always say ribbon, twine, and glue dots are best friends. So don't, don't bother trying to glue with glue with ribbons. It just, gosh, I'm not that patient. You have to wait forever to get that stuff to, to adhere. So there is our twine bow. And now the inside. Oh, and we do need to do this. So to make it a book binding fold, you need to adhere that binding, okay? So just press. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate that. I know the break, the colors in this designer paper are just so fun. Okay, so the inside, that's gonna be kind of fun. So I used, scoot that over. I used the big, long uh, streamer, I guess you'd call it, streamer die. Let's see if I can get that to stay open. There we go. Maybe. I might have to scoot it up a little bit. Okay. So the big long streamer die. And I used just two colors. I might, might add in the berry burst as well. So I'm going to start out with, scoot that one away, the lightest and tra I call it traveling, ink your long die. And I'm gonna go kind of like I did there. there. Now I don't have to clean this because I'm going from a light pink to a dark pink. I'm not gonna even bother. So just tap, tap, I call it tap, tap, tapping. And then we'll do there. Okay, I'm gonna stamp off and now I'm cleaning. <laughs> My chamois is right over a little ways out of the camera. Okay, close this up. And the bubble bath, love the bubble bath. One of my favorite new core colors. Now I'm gonna get into the Misty Moonlight. Travel on the ink pad without pressing too hard and then decide where I want this. Oh, I missed a little bit. Let's see if I can get it. Not bad. Okay. All right, so now we have our little... Oh, I do want to add some confetti. I don't know if you can see that. But I will do the you did it first. Okay. And then we'll close up our Misty Moonlight. So glad Misty came back. Yeah, this is really a good graduation card. You're, you're right, Barb. Thank you. Now I'm going to just stamp some random bubble bath confetti without getting too busy because it's so nice and light. Okay, well, maybe a little more up here. It's hard to stop. <laughs> okay, there's our inside. We're almost done, except for the stars. So we're going to glue one star down, flat, and the other one, this is bubble bath, needs to be raised. The reason this has to be raised is it has to catch on the card. Okay, so. What a bright, fun card, right? Much different than that one. This one, a um, little bit pastel on the inside. This one, I went bright. So aren't they fun? And there they go, standing up or flat to mail. So fun card, yeah, yeah, it's very good for graduation. So this is Berry Burst, Misty Moonlight, Bubble Bath. Yeah, those are the, those are the colors I did. So super fun card, I just love it. Okay, that's the first card. Now I'll get into the one that I think you're gonna be surprised at. Now let me know if anybody's ever seen this card before. 
because I sure haven't. It's brand new to me. Okay, same stamp set, same beautiful balloons. So this is the front of the card. So I made a birthday cake, but one, two, three. Close, close, and close. What do you think? Have you ever seen anything like it before? I think it's so cool. There's my inside. I use blueberry bushel, a little bit of berry, a uh, lemon lime twist, and bubble bath. And of course, the paper is the bright and beautiful. So isn't it fun? Okay, anybody seen it before? Anybody? So um, yeah, you, well, I used a little bit of this on the bottom. Used, of course, the two stars. I didn't use that one or that, but um, yeah, I used some of the dies. So yeah, it is it is super cool. So this could be birthday, this could be graduation. Um, you could do anything with this, but I, I really like how I added the star with a little pop-up and it catches just by a hair on that um, point of the star to hold it closed. Otherwise, I just, I don't like cards that kind of don't stay, don't mind. <laughs> I, I want them to stay put. All right, let's get started. So let's change up the measurements here. I'm calling it this. You tell me, does this make sense to you? Flip flap triple tier cake card. It's a, it is a mouthful, but it could just be a triple tier cake card, but it has the flaps. So I think it's just super cool. All right, so I'm changing it up. You know, I like to change the, oh, that would be a really neat wedding card. You're right, Karen. Thank you. Yeah, you could do that in their colors or just white and black with textured white pieces. Great idea. I like that. Okay, get some of my pieces out. I'm going to change it up. The background is going to be different. So you can see this one I use designer paper, but it is the lemon lime. I'm going to try going a little bold, a little bit maybe busy. We'll see. Okay, so I have a couple options. Not sure I'm gonna use my fringe on this one or not. All right, so the bottom most layer is lower tier six inches, six inches long by one and one eighth. And I simply just fold it in half and crease it. So instead of the stripes, I'm gonna do the stars here. We'll see what we think and I may, I don't know which way I want this. Maybe, maybe that way, we'll find out. Now this one is middle tier four and a half wide by two and a quarter. Okay, and that one's going to open the opposite way of the other. So we're just gonna see what we think here. Now I have a couple options for the top. I almost, I'm leaning towards this one. So, and this upper tier is three inch, three and a quarter wide by two inches tall. Oh, you know what I forgot? I knew I'd forget something. I forgot to cut the inside layers. Well, you get the drift. Um, these, and I have them lower inside, middle inside, and upper inside. So if you are interested in adding more greetings, I totally forgot about that. I don't know why, but you get the gist. Okay, so this one would open left to right. So we'll see what we think. If we like that, or if we like this polka dot. Hmm, we might almost like the polka dot. Less busy with this busy background or less colorful. Okay. Yeah, you can play around with our double-sided paper and just have a lot of fun with this. All right, so we're going to start by adding these little borders. Now, the, these are done with the border dies. And it's it's an, a die, I did I forgot to get it out, but it's a die that, that makes kind of a, hmm, I don't know, a U-shape in a way. But I'm um, just gonna add that to each layer before we get too far along here. And I'll just add it to the edge so I only have to cut one piece. I'd like to cut them too long. Then I have room, I'm just gonna slide it up to match, room to trim. There's the upper layer. Just a thin, thin line of glue. Don't want anything peeking out. And I want the scallops just like you would have if you were making a cake. Does anybody watch the like the baking championships? 
We just finished watching the Spring Baking Champion. We just love watching people bake. <laughs> it kind of helps uh, helps our cravings. We actually don't need to, uh-oh, is this one gonna be too short? No, just barely, wow, just barely. I should have checked which one was longer for this one. Um, yeah, we love watching those baking shows, the competition shows. People are so kind, helping each other. And I'm a cook, I love to to bake and um, and cook. So I don't know if any of you know that, but I used to cater um, for part of my living. I did um, catering for the clinic that I worked at for the doctor's lunches. Okay, all right, so now, I don't know, what do we think about, let's, let me put this back and we'll decide what we think about this. Do we want this on there? I'd love your opinion. Does that add? It really does add, doesn't it? I think I have to have this, right? The stack of presents. Okay, I'm gonna do it. A little bit of adhesive, very thin line. And then you just add <laughs> this designer paper right over that. Okay, then I like to give it just a little bit of a, I don't know, play with it so they are not so flat. All right, so first I'm going to add this layer to here. You notice I don't worry about getting too close to the edges. I don't like when my glue um, leaches out, it, then it get, everything gets so sticky. Okay, so this one's gonna be next. This is our lower tier. And I'm kind of guesstimate, I'm gonna use this one as a, a guide. It's a little bit higher than that one. Okay, and then this one, of course, would open the other way there. And then here, yep, that's how that one does. Okay. So isn't this a fun card? It is, <laughs> yeah, I did used to cater. I love to cook. I actually have a couple cookbooks out as well. And the reason I started cookbooks wasn't because I have so many original recipes. It's more that I, oh, that one's gonna go a little bit lower. It's more that I wanted to organize my own recipes. I needed them in a book. So we typed it up, we printed it. It, it was, it was uh, my husband did the collating for it. Yeah, so we, we enjoyed and I have two of my own and one family one. Um, two of them are on my shop here um, that I used to use and, and people love them. So I'm really glad I get a lot of compliments on them. So I'm trying to make this centered. Also looking at this parameter, it's a little bit off maybe, but pretty cool. Okay, we're not using that. I'm gonna add these stars. So I wanted one of the stars. I have a few different colors here. Yeah, the fringe does add a lot, doesn't it? And that could be done on, well, not really on all these layers, but could be. All right, so do I want the pink and maybe the blue? You know what, I think I like this blue. Kind of brings that in, doesn't it? And this one would be the one to catch. So this has to be over. All right. So just gonna <laughs> give a little squiggle there. Okay, so this one is the one that has to have a dimensional on it to catch the that tear. Just a little bit. Doesn't need to be much, see? And then we'll add some glue to this one. So I want I I don't I haven't been watching all the comments. Has anybody seen this a card like this before? I'm very curious to see to know if anybody has. So I had on this card I did some of the sweet sorbet glittery ribbon. But I think on this one, I can get by with our new lemon lime twist ribbon. And I happen to have an extra bow that I made for another project. So I'm gonna get my faithful glue dots out again that I love for ribbon and put that on the top. 
You could do candles, you could do all kinds of things, but that's what I'm gonna do. All right, blueberry card base. Our layer was berry burst and blueberry. Isn't that bright? Which one, which one are we gonna like best? I love to try different designer papers to see oh, how I can change it up. Play with all our beautiful papers. Awesome, I'm glad I'm not the only ones who've never seen a card like this. Okay, this is one of our new, um, let's see what this is called. It is Adhesive Backed Sequins Trio. Now it does have a color in here that it doesn't match. This is Peacock, but it does have a nice pink and a clear. So that's what I'm going to be using here. Let me just get a large one and we'll put that one here. And we'll get a couple pink and add those to the small stars. That adds a, a playful touch. And I love our adhesive back sequins because they're flat. There is no raised area when you use our sequins. It, I, it's kind of one of my go-tos. All right, so I don't know. I kind of peeked, gave you a peek of the inside. So we're gonna do that. Fun, fun um, images in this set that out again there a the lot of them the balloons all match the dyes and I like the what I'm going to use here with blueberry ink okay I'm going to do that first okay kind of do that at the top trying to get even wouldn't have to be honestly because I'm doing my balloon crooked purposely okay then we'll get out that side our lemon lime twist how many of you are, are excited about all of our new colors that we have right now i think it's so fun to get new colors i never mind a color refresh because it just adds a fre freshness to our color line so this has a little bit of confetti um i should say stars showing through that solid balloon and then there is an image with a tassel. So this is the tassel and I'm going to stamp off. I want this to be a little bit not quite so bright. A little off there, wasn't I? Didn't pay attention. Okay, so there's our inside. You like the color refresh too, Karen? Awesome, I do too. Okay, so just open this up. Now remember, I did forget to do the inside, and I'm gonna show you the insides of the cake um, again, so you get kind of, you can see what I did. This will be on my blog probably later this month, or this week, I should say. So the first one, I just stamped the celebration. The second one, now these are bubble bath. I, I put happy birthday, and this one I put yay you. So you could leave out the happy birthday and put you did it, or something on here for graduation. And I stamped because my designer paper on the inside of this was pretty plain. Now you could add another layer in here if you want to, and even another layer in here, but I kept it pretty simple. <laughs> as simple as you can for a triple tier birthday card, right? <laughs> okay, if anybody wants to do a screenshot, there is the, are the cards and the measurements for, for this. So we have... Yeah, I was really into berry burst and blues today. You can see that. Okay, all right, so there's our projects for today. I only took time to do two because they were a little bit over the top fun folds. Like I said, they'll be on my blog. I'll try and share them on my Facebook page. Hopefully you're following me on my blog and Facebook. I do totally different things. I post five times a week. It's Flower Bug Zinc Spot. That's my blog and um, I give a lot of uh, tutorials and my videos are on there. Lots of information, all the Stampin' Up! specials. I'm probably better at blogging than I am on Facebook, just saying. So thank you. I'm so glad you're going to make one, Linda. So next I'm going to share my kits to go. So I've shared them on my, my, um, oh, got some mini glue dot there. There's one card. Now that's a fun, they're almost all fun folds. This is featuring the Country Inn and Sweets, Country Inn Suite. 
So this card is a little bit of a latch card. So I, I might share one like this next week using the monkeys. But basically my dimensionals are right about here, just enough to catch this card, the, the left flap. So this one's not a fun fold. This one is, it's a pop-up birthday card, bir uh, I should say pop-up gift card. So see how, how that works. And then this one is not really a fancy fold, but I punched a circle around there and stamped directly on the card front. Super fun. You get a share of rhinestones and this gorgeous navy ribbon. So, and I used the Circle Sayings bundle. So I am offering the, the kit alone or the tutorial. The tutorial is $15. The kit is $28 plus shipping. Now, if you want to add on the Circle Sayings bundle, it's already 10% off, but I'm giving an extra 10% off. So it's almost 20 off of those who purchase the kit and add on the bundle. So you can't get this on my shop. My shop link is right there, flowerbugshop.com. The kit you can, but if you want this, just message me and I will send you a PayPal invoice for it all. It's cheaper that, what? Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. I can send you an invoice for just the bundle as well. But it's a great deal, I thought, and I used only the greetings in there. There's a ton of them. Um, warm hello, thank you, because you're awesome. Smile today, happy birthday, thinking of you, sending you a warm hello, smile, thank you, or celebrate. Just a really great set. It's a million dollar set by Jessica Taylor. Love it, love it. So anyway, that's that kit to go. Now then I have my Daisy kit to go. And remember, you do save if you buy more than one because you combine shipping. And the shipping alone, you can save $8.50 to $11 if you combine shipping. So here I'm doing the Cheerful Daisies. Actually, fresh as a daisy designer paper. So some of these use the Border Basic dies. You see that? And then some are... The flowers are fussy cut. I did not, this kit, I used this stamp set and around the bend, but you only need greetings. To, and same with the other set. You don't have to have that circle saying set. You can, um, yeah, you only need greetings for this one because everything else is done except you cut your own designer paper and a little bit of fussy cut flowers, but everything else is done for you. So you get the opaque, Opaque. Let's see. I don't remember what what the gems are called. Three colors: copper, lemon lolly, and I'm trying to think what the other one is. I think what's well, blue? It's the blue, boho blue. So there are those two cards, and here is a double flap card. So fun, isn't that pretty? I we cut out some more of the daisies to add to the the double flap, and here is a lattice card. So that is done. The die cuts are done for you. You get these all ready to go. You're going to get a share of the ribbon, the gems, and your own half pack of designer paper. And then here's another couple of cards. So this card fold is so cool because when you cut this off right here, this is your other piece. It's just flipped. It's great use of your cardstock. So you don't have to have the Cheerful Daisies set or bundle, but you can add it on again at an extra 10%. So adding on the stamp set to this is $63. The bundle with the dies, because there are there's some nice dies in here, is $99 for the whole um, kit, tutorial, $20 in product, and the bundle's $99. Now the other one to add just the stamp set on to your Countryside in is 62. When you add the punch to, it's 81. So that includes the PDF tutorial, the shipping, and everything. All right, just let me know if you want any of that. Message me, and if you want to shop at my shop to get the, the either the tutorial or the kits alone, go ahead and do that. If you want to add on any of the stamp set or bundle, then message me. You can either email or whatever have you, um, Facebook message. All right, I think that's it. I will be back next week for another live. Every Tuesday, 11 a.m. here on Flyerbug's Ink Spot. Now, if you are not following me on my business page, which is um, Flyerbug's Ink Spot on Facebook, that is where I hold my videos. Flyerbug Stamp and Share is my customer group, my sharing group. So you need to be on Flyerbug's Ink Spot to catch the videos live. All right. 
I think that's it. Okay, thanks so much for joining me. Have a great week, everybody. I appreciate you watching. Bye-bye. Okay.